Hello again, I am Blunty. This is the Steel Series Intel stage at PAX Australia, first weekend of November 2016. And up on the stage are the members of Team AU, a group of hardcore extreme overclockers boiling away pot after pot of liquid nitrogen on an Intel Core i7-6950X Extreme Edition, 1,450 Australian dollars worth of CPU hunting for the world record overclock. And spoiler alert, they nailed it! Live on stage and all. Yes! We did it! Yeah. We got the record! We did it. Team AU! 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 For those unfamiliar with the world of extreme overclocking, what's happening here is that they're pouring liquid nitrogen into an insulated pot mounted over the CPU in order to get the kind of wildly aggressive cooling required to stop the CPU baking itself into oblivion under the kinds of frequencies and voltages being asked of it. But right now we're hunting the frequency world record of the Intel 4i7-6950X Extreme Edition processor has a stock frequency of 3 gigahertz and we wanting we're wanting to validate here the 5.74 gigahertz frequency using liquid nitrogen cooling at between a minus 80 and minus 90 degrees celsius let's make it happen guys So uh, my drink's been getting a bit warm here, so uh, I'm just going to cool that bad boy down a bit. Uh, it's some nice cooling happening there. And let's find out. And if you're wondering about the blowtorch, which does indeed seem utterly bonkers and counterintuitive when they're using cup after cup after cup of liquid nitro just to keep temperatures down, the answer is this. Intel's CPU have a quirk in their design. You might call it a bug, except it only happens in conditions the CPU was never intended or designed to experience in the first place. So calling it a bug is a little bit unfair. Anyway, if an Intel CPU gets too cold, it'll basically crash. The system will shut down instantly and won't be able to be booted up again while it's that cold. So the extreme overclockers have to keep the temperature balanced and to warm the pot up, they blast it with a blowtorch to what they call pulling the pot up, carefully monitoring temperatures to avoid getting too cold or too hot, and a careful balance with pulling the pot down with a splash of liquid nitrogen. And this is why they work in teams, one guy to keep the CPU safe, the other guy kicking the ever-living hell out of it over on the keyboard. Now, I've done some overclocking myself in my time, CPUs, graphics cards, and I've had some pretty great results actually, but this kind of stuff, the liquid nitro stuff, is above my skill set. Fortunately for me, it also looks really cool in action so I can pull on my other skill set and get some awesome slow-mo footage of liquid nitro boiling away. Come on, the hype machine. It's going and it's true, it's real. Oh, I just been told this is the Rush B run. It's on! I just hope no one's packing jewelries, that'll be a bit sad. Now, this is when you know that it's getting serious. When Dino steps in, he's like, I need to see this too. Overclocking is like the practice. We just want more, 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 more. We've already gone and taken the world record frequency. We've figured out what settings are needed for that. But for it to count internationally, what we need is the validation file. So the boys have gone through, double checked that the program's working correctly, that the hot key for the validation file is working correctly. So this is all about making sure your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, and everything's sorted out before you go for that final run. So here they are. 
they're pushing up the frequency now, and Matt's ready to hit that hot key to get that validation file. Come on boys, 5.744, this is it, this is the world record frequency, we're looking for the validation file to work, and it froze trying to validate, oh frustrating, come on, come on boys, I've been told this is the last attempt, this is the last attempt, so be mindful, make it happen, stay focused, so you don't lose your zorch, here it is, I got you. I just want to give a big shout out to Intel Gigabyte Steel Series for being able to make this happen. So this uh, mouse pad here is getting a bit frosty. As you can see, that's a soft cloth pad. And that's actually getting stuck in, inside. I'm sorry, I can't throw this one out because it's going to be up here for the, the uh, stream as well. Alright, so what what you can see up here is that they're currently sitting at 5.526 gigahertz. I mean, just crazy to think that the boys can jump on here, set up, quickly set up a platform, pull down the top zero temperatures and get these insane speeds. Now this does not just happen by fluke. These guys do a lot of pre-testing, a lot of work goes into these sort of things. So James, can you tell us what does it take to take the world record? Um, probably two or three weeks of prep and one or two days of just eight hour overclocking on the day. So sometimes you get lucky, but normally it took some weeks to work. So it's 100% or bust? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Nice, nice. Every single bit crossed you can. Legs crossed, fingers crossed, arms crossed. We need a wrap. So this is the last run. Pressure's on. We're at minus 94.6 degrees. Go on boys, make it happen. Make the beautiful thing happen. As James Dowse is another hit from LN2. And Matt's looking to push the frequency up. Give a big shout out to Intel Gigabyte Steel Series for being able to make this happen. While this is going on, I really want to be able to show some love to the crowd here today. So right now, I'm going to do a quick crowd selfie. Let's do this piece. Everyone in there? Yes! We did it! We got the record! We got the record! 9.74 gigahertz! Woo! The validation file is done. Congratulations to Team Australia, extreme overclocking, and especially well done to James and Young Prince from Ascus, as well as Maddie, zero plus zero, Morrison. Congratulations, boys. We just hit a world record for this CPU. That is the fastest Intel Core i7 6950X Extreme Edition CPU in the world, and that was done on the Gigabyte X99 SOC Cherokee motherboard. Congratulations, guys, and thank you to all of the audience here for joining us on this rad journey. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, guys. It's all about the community. Thank you. Awesome. Congratulations, guys. That's you. Big congrats to the Team AU boys, they're setting a goal, smashing it down and all while live on stage, on a noisy show floor, a hungry expected audience in front of them, and worst of all, a hard time limit to get off the damn stage so the next event can start. But they did it, the world's fastest Core i7-6950X Extreme Edition right there. I wonder how long they'll be able to hold the record. You should probably keep tabs on them on their site, or their Twitter, or their Facebook or something. <laughs> Team AU kicking ass under pressure and, wait for it, staying cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Lunty and I will catch you next time.